ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now you can take it with you. Get the latest scores from Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. Good afternoon, East Texas. I'm Brandon Davidson, and this is your TitlerPaper.com afternoon news update. Okay, we start with some breaking news. Carrier Corporation is moving along with plans to close its Tyler plant, planning to lay off 102 positions. Now that's according to Tyler Economic Development Council Chief Executive Officer and President Tom Mullins. Now he told the Tyler Area Chamber of Commerce board meeting today that the company sent out a warn letter to the city. Now that letter is required when more than 50 jobs will be leaving the area and when organized labor is involved. Now Mullen said almost all of the 102 employees work in the manufacturing assembly and will be moved to Monterey, Mexico within the next month. Now he said that that will leave around 250 to 300 remaining employees in Tyler, which will be phased out by the end of the year. In early 2012, Carrier Corp announced the plans to close the Tyler plant by 2013 or early 2014. Mullen said he expects Tyler operations to be closed by the end of this year. Now the person shot by a Longview police officer at the Penwood Apartments on Scenic Drive last night has been identified as Sean Antonio Thompson, age 26 of Longview. Now he remains in the hospital at this time, according to our news partners at CYTX CBS 19. An officer was reportedly responding to a call around 845 when the armed man confronted the officer and was shot. Now the Texas Rangers are investigating this shooting. The Justice Department and a number of state attorney generals are challenging the proposed $11 billion merger between U.S. Airways Incorporated and American Airlines parent company AMR Corp. Here's more. The proposed $11 billion merger between U.S. Airways Group and American Airlines parent company AMR is now on hold. A lawsuit filed in federal court seeks to prevent the companies from making the deal in order to preserve head-to-head -head competition. The Justice Department and a number of state attorneys general say the merger would reduce competition in local markets, result in higher fares, and leave customers receiving less service. The spokesman for U.S. Airways had no immediate comment. American Airlines did not immediately return a call seeking comment. Warren Levinson, Associated Press. NASA's put together an image showing the orbits of all known potentially hazardous asteroids, also known as PHAs, which are currently threatening Earth. Now that's 1,400 in total, making this map uncomfortably busy. To qualify as a PHA, an asteroid needs to be fairly large, at least 460 feet in size, and follow orbits that pass close to the Earth's orbit within 4.7 million miles. Yeah, but a PHA is not necessarily in a collision course with Earth. In fact, None of the PHAs is considered a threat for the next 100 years, but by continuing to observe and track these asteroids, NASA hopes to refine their orbits so that they can make predictions in the future. Our featured Focus in on Dot Me photo gallery was taken by our own Victor Texacano at the Alto High School Football Media Day. All these photos are available for purchase. Visit Focus in on Dot Me by clicking on the photos link at the top of any TylerPaper.com page. And finally, a Reddit user posted photos of dads dra dragged along to a One Direction concert who looked completely miserable. Take a look. This is courtesy of Buzz60. Here's a generic photo of a recent One Direction concert. It's filled with screaming, adoring fans. But what it doesn't show are the poor fathers acting as chaperones who are having a terrible time. Don't worry, we have those photos too. Hey, I'm Jillian on Buzz60. A Reddit user posted five photos with the title, Dads Dragged Along to the One Direction Concert, and they look just as miserable as you'd imagine. This guy looks like he's trying to make it all stop with his mind, and those earplugs. And by the looks of the girls' faces surrounding him, they look pretty bored. Maybe it was a ballad or something? This dad also has earplugs, but seems to be lost in his phone. Probably playing Candy Crush or checking work emails or something. But seriously, why does the crowd look so bored? According to the caption on Imgur, this guy was in the hallway charging his phone. Here's a dad who won't even bother standing. He looks like he's wondering where his daughter's music taste went so askew. I guess he blames himself and is skipping the earplugs as punishment. And finally, this dad decided to use his time wisely by catching up on some reading. He also wisely decided to camp out a bit outside the venue. No earplugs needed. Yikes, these men are troopers. Looks like we have at least five new contenders for Father of the Year. But 60, now you know, pass it on. Hey, thanks for watching and watch more video news updates as the afternoon progresses.